My day is made anytime Robin Mead is here. Hi. I am a huge fan of Mara. Oh my gosh. Seriously, if you if you follow tweets, people are probably like, what's up with these two? Because I'm like, I love you. Well, thank you for all your tweets because I get a lot of followers out of you. Really? I do. That's funny. That's funny how that happens. Yeah, isn't that great? So keep on doing it, please. <laughs> <laughs> so the album is called Brand New Day, which I want to get this right because you get it at the greeting card section at Target. It's in, it's in one of those interactive displays okay. where you can you can push my face and sample the music. So if you've ever wanted to punch my face, you can sample the music that way. But there isn't an interactive display in the CD section, so don't go there. It's okay. in the greeting card section. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, know, I don't think that's uh, uh, going to happen, someone wanting to punch your face. <laughs> Uh, so it, this is it's doing well so far right i'm really tickled with it you are but you know i i do tweet about it constantly um <laughs> so are people telling you to calm down on the tweets some yes yeah, some say um have some dignity about it <laughs> but i'm like i'm like have you gone to the greeting card section of target yet what about itunes oh and if you went to itunes could you leave positive feedback so but you know i think you're your own marketing machine well i'm purposely holding it up like this now let's talk it. about this um now a, a, a newscaster here in town jaquetta williams yes loves you told me that her favorite song is Put My High Heels On. I don't know if you can see Robin's shoes. Yeah. Um, those are pretty high. I wrote that song um, with John Rich and the, the woman who produced this album is Victoria Shaw. So I, I co-wrote that song because they were like, why don't we talk about what it's like for a woman as she wakes up in the morning? I'm like, nothing ever fits. You already want to go back to bed. But you put your high heels on, you're ready to kick some major arse. That's definitely so, true. It's my definitely theme song true. release. Got to talk about Dirty Laundry, Don Headley song. Yeah. So that's sort of like a parody of the news business. <laughs> or it's kind of a scathing. Haven't you loved that song like since junior high? I have. And did you know that Lisa Marie Presley covered that too? I do remember that. I remember that because hers was really sexy and kind of slow. Right. And, and I just thought, you know, in her life, she probably did it to make fun of how much people covered her family, right? Right. Now for me, I've always loved the song, and so when it became known that I was gonna do an album, I was like, I gotta do a country redo of Don Henley's Dirty Laundry, because it's kind of like a wink and a nudge at, yes, this is what I do for a living. Right, right, you right, know? right. And I did, <laughs> we did send him the rough cuts to see if he would kind of join us. Right. And I don't know if it actually got to him, but a, a very nice thank you very much, no, <laughs> came back. <laughs> Well, I have heard he is not the nicest guy in the whole world. Never met him before, but I don't know what happened to him, but he was mad at the news when he wrote that song. Uh, right, right. But, he, but maybe he didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not me biting the hand that feeds me, but I do think it's very contemporary still after all these years. It is a contemporary yeah. song. Now, you've been doing so much with the troops. You're always doing stuff with the military. How did that get under your skin? Like, how did you start getting involved with the military so much? You know what? Somebody had sent us a mug, one of the branches of the military, and I just held it up on air like six, seven years ago and said, oh, and thanks to Fort so-and-so for this. And we had this huge outpouring. You know, they're, they're a little bit rivals between the branches. Mm -hmm. And so then we just kind of realized, wow, you know, we're in a war and by then we were in two wars and these people don't get enough recognition so it's only 30 seconds every half hour and what I love is it's from the military families who say hey this is my warrior I want you to know about him he's serving in Afghanistan and I want to salute him it's so simple but yeah I think it touches so many hearts it's the least we can do you yeah know? it definitely is and now I saw you did a performance with Winona Judd I did I opened for one no no what was that like she's really cool she was really very cool about she it thin or fat um well, I'm sitting here in Spank, so I'm not going to well, judge. Well, who is it, Robin? <laughs> like, what's 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 the what's because I know she had like lost weight, gained weight, and now she's like she looked good to me. She looked good to you. Yeah. All right. Was the the mother wasn't there? She was not. She was. What not. is up with those two? Like, I they, have not watched that own show. Have you? It's a little. It's a little dull for me, oh. but. Um, I have heard many people think that Elvis is really Winona's father. Would you, what do you think of that? Oh, I could see that. Yeah. 
<laughs> she was nice to you though. She was great. Did she, she was, know you from TV and all of that? Well, she came on the show. Okay. So she, oh, she did. Okay. Yeah, okay. So she okay. kind of hammed around with us, and then at the end of the concert, we sang a song together, "America the Beautiful." Okay. So now I get to say, "Rona." She was great though. She good. was fantastic. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, the album is great. It's brand new day. Where is it again? In, In the, the greeting, greeting card, card section, section at, at Target. Target or iTunes. Someone just told me today they were on Amazon. I, I, it's not being sold on Amazon. And someone was charging $29.99 for this thing. Actually, it's $9.99 at Target. Meanwhile, how's that for an urchin? Are we sure that's not our very own Yvonne Monet doing that? <laughs> 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 that would be so great if that were true. Any plans for a second album? Or we- yeah, there's already plans in the works for um, the second album. And I'm kind of leaning toward a duet album. What do you think? Could you me give me Bono? Give me Bono! Oh, I thought you and me, a little islands in the stream. Oh, do or it, do it, girl, do it. <laughs> that is what we are. No one in between. That is, I don't know the next line. <laughs> the Sweeney Sisters. So, sail away with me to another world. And we rely on each other. other. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, we were trying to do the harmony. <laughs> okay. Are you All do right. dirty laundry. You know, I say that you got to get Dolly Parton. Now, that would be the that jam. That would be, oh, that would be, I could lay down and die after that. If I could do a duet with Dolly, <gasps> she'd do the soprano part, I'd do the alto part. Um, we would be the Sweeney Sisters. Well, what we learned from your book is to think positive and put it out there, and you never know. Speak it. It'll become something. Robin Reed, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new day. You know where to get it. So get it. I stalk her slightly. Slightly stalk her. I like her so much. <laughs>